Are you having some problems today? Maybe some problems you never imagined you'd have to face, enormous problems. Where is God in all of that? Where is God? Have you abandoned me? Have you ever considered Joseph in the Old Testament? Talk about bad. He was thrown into a pit and almost murdered by his own brothers. That was bad. He was sold into slavery to the Egyptians. That was bad. Eventually, Potiphar's wife tried to seduce him. That was bad. Then she accused him of rape when he resisted her, and that was bad. He was thrown into prison, and that was bad. But finally, when God liberated him, and his brothers came down from Canaan because of the famine, the same brothers that had thought about killing him and sold him into slavery, when those brothers came down, he looked at them and said, God sent me before you. Now, what do you mean by that? All these bad things was God sending him before his brothers. Had it not been for the bad things, Joseph would not have been in Egypt. Joseph would not have been there to literally save his brothers and his father from that horrible famine. God had a plan. Joseph later said, you meant it for bad, God meant it for good. He didn't look upon his problems. He looked past his problems to the fact that God would deliver him. Did you know God will deliver you? Or are you looking at the problem? Listen to this little question that I have for you. Twelve spies were sent into the promised land by Moses to search it out. Twelve came back. Ten of them said, why, we look like nothing but mere grasshoppers. Those giants are so large. Only Joshua and Caleb said we can go in. Listen to me. I would bet my best pair of Western boots you can't name a single one of those 10 spies that said we're nothing but grasshoppers. Their names are mentioned. I'll bet you, you can't name one of those spies. I will bet you further, you could call any preacher in your town, any preacher you know, and ask him to name one of the spies without looking at his Bible. You know why? Losers and cowards generally fade away pretty quick. Only the brave continue forth. Best of all exemplified in the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Hebrews 12 too, he is the author and finisher of our faith. Oh, you're going to be victorious. Who because of the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He could see Calvary and that huge problem and the pain and the horror. But it was nothing compared to the joy that he knew that he would experience once he'd endured it. I don't know what the problem is in your life today. God has it figured out. You've got joy ahead of you. Relish the joy. Oh, you've got to look at the problem. Jesus looked at the cross but he has more for you. This has been Sermon in Miniature with Evangelist Harold Hunter. Would you please subscribe at the end of this video? Thank you and have a good day.